Nigeria actively participated at the 2023 United Nations Climate Conference, otherwise known as COP28 in Dubai last year. The event had in attendance a high-level delegation led by President Bola Tinubu, alongside some cabinet members underscoring the serious attention that climate action is attracting in Nigeria. During the COP28, Nigeria unveiled its comprehensive national renewable energy roadmap highlighting efforts to combat the adverse effect of climate change through various initiatives and policies aimed at sustainable development and environmental protection. But after COP28 comes, the time for significant action in achieving the said goals beyond talks. That forms part of the reason for this gathering by stakeholders. COP28 has come and gone with lots of pledges and proposed actions. But as Nigerians, what next? Much more work is needed to deliver commitments and action that match the priorities of Nigeria and other emerging economies facing the full brunt of climate impacts. Unpacking the COP28 outcome is not merely an academic exercise. It is a vital exercise in introspection and strategic planning. We must, in this meeting, dissect its implications for Nigeria, identify the opportunities it presents, and most importantly, chart a roadmap for accelerating climate action on our soil. Some key measures highlighted at COP28 include increased investment in renewable energy project reforestation programs and the adoption of eco-friendly practices in agriculture and industry. While progress has been made, challenges remain. Stakeholders here are advocating for enhanced international cooperation to address climate change. We have all it takes to do it. All we are looking for is partnership. Africa is not a beggar. Nigeria is not a beggar. We want partnership on climate issues. We have all it takes. Let the global north, let our friends of Africa and our friends of Nigeria come to partner with us on this journey. And together, we are stronger. We can no longer discuss development without climate change. The two are not in competition. Rather, they are complementary. As Nigeria and other African countries update their nationally determined contributions, NDCs, going into COP29 and COP30, there is need to be more ambitious with our targets, especially the intersection between food security and energy. The calls for collaboration on the score, the interconnected nature of climate change and the necessity of collective action to safeguard the environment and livelihoods across Nigeria and the African continent.